Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video today. I'm going to be going over the new positional heroes that were just dropped and also there is a free 99 hero that is able to be attained, obtained in this game right now. So I'm going to go over the new ones, the new positional heroes that came out. I'm going to be going over how to get it for free what you need to do for that, and also my best options. But before I get into the video, guys, thank you so much for all this recent support, and you guys still coming out every day, even in a dead game. I really do appreciate it. As per usual, like I stated in my prior videos, I'm going to mention it a few more times for everyone that doesn't always watch every day. I will be doing giveaways from now until Madden 20. All you have to do to enter is hit a like goal, and that's a bat and comment down below. So what I'm going to be doing is on my account, I currently have 569,000 coins. I will be giving that all the way to one random commenter. All you got to do... This video needs to hit 150 likes, and you got to comment down below 500k. If I hit 150 likes today, I'll give it away today. If I hit it next week, I give it away to next week. I don't have to do is comment. So I recommend coming back for every single video, liking and commenting. Because if this video gets it and you only commented last video, you won't be eligible. But it's very simple, very easy to enter. All you got to do is click the like button right now below and comment. That could be done in less than two seconds, and you have a chance at 500k. And I'll be doing this from now until Madden 20. So I'll be giving away the majority of my team, my coins. I'll be giving away everything. So I could probably keep a giveaway going from this day onward all the way to Madden 20. So that's about it, guys. If you haven't already and you're new, drop a sub. All these giveaways all the way through the summer. Keep you busy until we get into Madden 20 all the awesome content starts dropping. But for now, let's get into these positional heroes. So first things first, head on over to the new sets. So I already saw who they were, but I'll go over them with you guys. So we got first Kevin Zeitler and Zach Ertz. And then we got on defense, I believe we got, yep, Levante, David, and Geno Atkins. So if you click into them, it's going to be like the other sets. Typically, it's going to be the same requirements, some more than others, some less than others. Some actually had higher requirements in some spots, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if it was the wide receiver one that needed a higher one or a lower one. I'll tell you right now. I could be talking out of my ass, but I'm pretty sure there was something like that. Oh, right here. The fullback requires more positions. Okay. But it doesn't require 96, 97. It requires only 94, 95. So now, upon looking through these sets, I was looking on over to the Position Heroes Collectible set that just got dropped. And it says, Position Hero Collectible Exchange Tokens. So you have to collect tokens, pretty much, to get a Position Hero. So now if you read it, turn in three Position Hero Collectible Tokens to earn a fantasy pack containing your choice of one auctionable or tradable 99 overall Position Hero. So what intrigues me the most is that it is a fantasy pack. So if you get a Kyle Juice Neck, whatever you say his name, like I said, and you don't like him, that'd be an issue, right? Now, for, if you just get one random nat, that always sucks. Because if you just get any guy, it would suck and that you didn't like. But now you have the option to pick between f a few, typically three. Now, what's even cooler about this one, this one's auctionable and tradable, but this has two downsides to it. So first off, because they're auctionable and tradable, they won't be as valuable. So if they're going for 250k, they will be going for quite a lot less once the set drops. So I'd recommend not holding on to these. Also, which kind of sucks, I kind of like when they're not. I know you guys want the coins, but when they're not, it makes you keep them, which I think helps the team. And it makes it more unique, you know what I'm saying? This way, you could just, it doesn't matter which one you get. You could just take any one, there's no excitement to it. You could literally take any single one, and you could just go sell them right away. So it doesn't really matter which ones you get, but I will be going over my choices for who I think are the best options once I go through this. So now, you guys are probably wondering, how do I get the tokens? So I was going over to solos and I found them over there. They just dropped these solos. I'm pretty sure. I didn't see them yesterday. And this is going to be like the Ultimate Legend solos. Hopefully they're moments though. I haven't checked that yet. I'm pretty sure they are though. I was reading what I wasn't reading into. So there's eight games all the way down to here. And the final game gives you one token. So it's called week one. So I'd imagine it's going to take three weeks to get three tokens. Now, if they continue this from now until Madden 20, which I don't know if they will, you could probably end up getting multiple of these i don't know if that set was repeatable but if you do the math there's how many positions on a, on a, on a field don't don't quote me right now i don't want to give you an exact number but based based on this i'd imagine you could probably get up to six weeks worth of positional heroes but i'm not sure if it was repeatable maybe they're going to do it all in three weeks i don't know how much they plan to drop each week as with ultimate legends they dropped a bunch the first week and then after that kind of slowed down so i don't really know how they're gonna be dropping these so i can't really get into that but it does appear like they're moment solos an insanely talented receiver handling from Miami, Florida. He's played in six seasons for the Colts. He's been a standout player each year. 
Colts have the ball, but you got enough time to take it back. Hold your lead. Okay, so these are moments. Now, actually, let me check to see if the last game isn't, because that would that's kind of annoying. It appears that the powerhouse of linebacker Levante is a consistent starter for the Bucks, showing up to bring his A game in all 105 games. With 10 interceptions, you're going to need to steer clear of him. Take back. Okay, take back lead. So they're all moments. That's awesome. It's not like the stupid Ultimate Legend solos that weren't really worth it, because by the time you got your car, they all went for 130K, which probably contributed to it. Also, if you're a market guy, you have been making coins. Sell your sell your position hero now. Buy them back when this uh when these cut coming out and these set drops, and you could probably sell them back again, or you could probably buy them back afterwards. But I'd sell them initially, and they're gonna drop when they first come out. So that's when I would probably buy a few, and I'd make sure to sell the ones you have right now at this moment. Now, if I had to pick between who I want the most, I'm gonna go over to the auction block right now to show you who I choose if I had a fantasy pack. Also, keep in mind that the apparently from what I saw on Twitter is that. If you save your house rules pack from yesterday, it does not give you the new ones. You can still only get the, the core four that originally dropped. So if you know what I'm talking about, the house rules guaranteed you a 99 overall player from position heroes. You can only get Ramsey, Adams, uh, Kyle, or T.Y. Hilton apparently. So if you save them for the newer ones, that won't work. But that's just what I heard. Now if I head on over to position heroes right here, we got the T.Y. Hilton, the Jalen Ramsey, the Kyle, the Jamal Adams, the Zach Ertz, Damn, where are they? They're all the way to probably the new ones, right? Geno Atkins. There's a Levante David, obviously. I know them. And there is one more. Where is he? Levante, Geno, Zach Ertz. And I'm blanking right now. But I'm going to go over my favorites. So my favorite out of all of them, I really love this Jalen Ramsey card. I think that's probably the one I'd pick. If I had a fantasy pack and I had to pick one, I'd take this Jalen Ramsey. When you chem this guy up and power him up, he's going to have 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 jumping, 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press, and a very high agility. And he's six foot two. And I'm pretty sure his catching isn't that bad either. And it's and 79. If you have John Madden or anything on him, it could be an 80 catching. His jumping will be almost maxed at a 99. This and he has an 80 kick return. This card is an absolute beast. I would definitely take him over every other card so far in this promo. He is like Deion Sanders, minus the spin move and stuff. I, I get that, but he's like kind of like a Deion Sanders type speed and athleticism type card with height, with physicality, and he can press. He can still press. You can do anything. He's like the all the corner that you could put on anyone and just expect him to do well. This is Madden we're talking about though, so I can't exactly predict that someone will be locked down. Now, the second one I like would have to be the Jamal Adams. This Jamal Adams has been a this guy is a beast all year. I run a I believe it's a three three five. He has came down in the box multiple times. If I'm saying that wrong, don't don't kill me. But he comes down in the box a lot. He's, he, this, imagine this card as a user linebacker. When he comes down to the box, he'd have 99 speed, 99 excel, almost 99 play rec, 99 pursuit, 99 zone, 99 hit, high man. You can man him up, zone him, put him in the box, blitz him, do whatever you want with him. This guy is literally, he can do everything. So that's why he's up there. Next, I'll probably put... Um, it might be Kyle, the fullback, just because a fullback can be useful, and I don't see this. I, like, this Zach Ertz is too slow. When you, at this point in the year, a tight end below 90, a tight end below 95 speed really isn't usable, because if anyone, if someone could just man up any linebacker on Zach Ertz now, and he's locked up the whole time. So I'd have to put Zach Ertz towards the end, so I'll not be ranking him high. I will probably be going with, I'll go with Geno Atkins, Zach, just because he's a, he's Geno Atkins, because he's a defensive tackle. I like to do positions that I won't want to buy myself, so... He has a decent speed, but everything else is practically 99, so he's still a beast in the run support if people are still running that much at this point in the game. I know it's not exactly the meta for people who are still even playing, but next, I'd probably go... I'd, I'd probably go Levante David. He can't pass rush, but he's kind of like a Miles Jack type card. I feel like his stats are a little underwhelming, but again, the position is more useful than the other ones. He can catch. I'm pretty sure he has a really good zone. And if his man, if his man's decent, he can stay up there for number four or three, depending. I'm going to put it, he's a 90 zone, so he's definitely up there. So, so far my order would be Jalen Ramsey, number one, Jamal Adams, two. Then I would go Gino Atkins. Then I would go Levante David. And then with, there's Kyle. I'd have to go Kyle, Kyle next because I'm gonna keep calling him Kyle, guys. Sorry for that. Fullback, he's got pretty good speed. And his blocking is what intrigues me. He could probably lay out almost anyone he's going one-on-one -on -one with, especially off the edge, which is really, that's really big when the fullback, when there's a linebacker coming to set the edge, if the fullback can nail him on his ass right away, then the lineman can get upfield. Like that's, that's the whole key of a run. When you guys are coming out like this, and the linebackers come to the running back, when you guys meet at the line of scrimmage, 
the line gets slowed though the running back is slowed down if the running back can turn up field and the blockers could turn up field you have at least five to a first down every time so that is very big for me having a fullback that could do that especially earlier in the year i mean now everyone's just so overpowered now i know i'm probably missing two guys i'm gonna have to put i'm gonna have to put in my opinion zach ertz and ty hilton in dead last i'm gonna go back to make sure i'm not missing anyone but i'm gonna have to i'm gonna put yeah zach ertz oh okay kevin zeitler kevin zeitler goes right there too I don't need to go over a stat. You guys know what a lineman looks like at this point. They're using have 99 and everything. Useful lineman. It's just that a lot of linemen already have those stats already. So I can't really go over them too much. I mean, there's not much to talk about. And then dead last is Zach Ertz and TY. TY specifically is because he's a small, twitchy, fast receiver. Those are very useful in Madden three months ago. But this Madden, why would I want a small, fast receiver that can catch when I could have a tall, six foot five wide receiver with 99 twitchy speed? That can catch. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't. It doesn't add up. And then last, probably Zach Ertz. He's very, very slow. I mean, back in the beginning of Madden, a slower tight end with good run blocking and catching was kind of useful. But now you can have a fast tight end with catching and blocking like a Kittle, and it doesn't make sense to me. But guys, this video's getting a little long, so I'm gonna call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying. If you're still here, don't forget to comment down below. 500k. Drop a like. If we hit 150 likes, I will be giving away 569,000 coins. Also, don't forget to comment, like I just said, and make sure to subscribe if you're new. You won't miss out on all, you don't want to miss out on all these giveaways all summer, and also my Madden 20 content. And that's about it, guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.